in February 2022, with preparations already underway for Lighter Candle's first medical missions trip ever, we learned that more than 2,000 new refugees fleeing the Syrian war were about to arrive in northern Iraq with only the clothes on their backs. We were there to continue the rich legacy left by Dr. Chris Foyt, our founder Sean Foyt's father, who joyfully and faithfully brought teams of doctors all over the world, bringing medicine, hope, and the gospel. Miraculously, in just a few weeks, people from all over the world helped raise the $25,000 necessary to purchase antibiotics, essential medical supplies, and other equipment to care for the extreme need. And so with open hearts and hands, our largest team ever was ready. You on the mission field right here. You work with what you got. <laughs> it was stressful. Yes. Like, I could say it was a really good day. Like, I enjoyed working. So, uh, down to the right. Everyone was like cheerful and uh, having fun or trying to have fun and enjoy what he's doing. So, I appreciate everyone. Yeah, we appreciate you too, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he was spending all the time getting the full story. It was awesome. Oh, just. <laughs> Thank you. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna serve a lot of people. Jesus is gonna move. We're gonna see miracles and healing. Yeah. I'm excited. Yes. Everyone here is great. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> okay, so right now it is a quarter after midnight and our team is still finishing packing the last of the supplies. We got our first medical clinic tomorrow. We just had a big meeting going over everything. We're super excited to go love on these refugees. So over here we've got some of the medication that we're going to be handing out. We're packing all that up. Um, we have a pharmacist ready for that. And then everyone else is just assembling their kit, uh, ready to treat the most number of people possible. If you are deciding, and again, COVID, we'll talk about in a second, that you are letting somebody in, basically, they're getting treatment. They will be getting treatment. Okay, exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's gone well. My brain is functioning at 90% with no sleep, but we're doing it. Ah, uh, no. It's fine. What you could do, though, is uh, you to crack on on the other side. Do you have another one? Surgery for the surgery equipment. <laughs> it's a uh, portable dental unit. <laughs> it should work. It should be able to drill and suction and all that. But um, <laughs> thankfully, it seems some people that are electrically able. So we got it working. We took it apart. We had to replace the fuse. We took it to pieces, made sure all the wires are connected. Let's do some dentistry. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Dude. This is a YouTube video. What a way to start a trip, right? <laughs> and so bless us as we go, Lord bless us as we do these final few details and get ready to go. Lord, thank you for day one. In Jesus' name, amen. Going pretty good. Ready to roll. Look at Dr. Amy. Dr. Amy. Dr. Amy in the house. Bring it down. We got dental. We've got like 150 things that we didn't realize we had to do, and so we've just been running around doing logistics. So it's just crazy, but we're about to leave. So we're very excited, but oh, crazy. I'm currently stood in the middle of our medical clinic. Now we're working today with some of the most persecuted people in the whole of northern Iraq. Now behind me we have a registration where we're meeting them, finding out how we can best support them, how we can best treat them. We are seeing every child, giving them all toothbrushes, toothpaste, fluoride treatments, and then down here we are treating uh, those that are most in need in terms of their medical need and their dentistry need as well. And it's just such a pleasure to be able to uh, love them and to treat them as we are doing.
I know, it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, just like, because, you know, whenever you're in the States, it's like you walk into like a shift and you just never know, you know, like what you're going to yeah. see and you just kind of like hold it together, you know, because that's like your job, but because here has such like a more like supernatural um, intentionality to it, yeah. then it's like, you just like feel the heart of God. Um, and yeah, it's really beautiful. It's not even like a sad thing, you know, like it's just like, like whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just like thankfulness, you know, that like to be able to encounter him in that way. Not everybody has, you know, or can, you know, where it's just like he's doing something and he's like molded this time in my life for me to be able to respond. You can see that. I can see that. Because he doesn't drink coffee, bro. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Everyone from triage to doctors and translators gave generously and tirelessly of themselves the whole two weeks, despite the long days. So with a long drive ahead of us, it was time to head back to base and debrief. Set up triage uh, and uh, the reception where we're going to take the vitals. If there were like a few people in the in front with us, just so they can like coordinate the people while we're triaging because it was really, really hard for me. So can he, is this core? Multivitamins, but anything specific. I got a lot of things like cardiac issues and anemia, but we didn't have like mm -hmm. iron for kids. And I mean, they were asking for like, you know, right, a rough referral for an echo. I thought right. that was the second one. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, please take it. This is my third cup. Oh, really? Yeah, I was, I was drinking it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm really excited, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think it's, there's going to be a lot of joy. <laughs> <laughs> in the tent. We're in the white tent. No. Excited? Excited. Okay, very excited, oh, great. Yeah. very expectant, um, lots of energy despite little sleep, which is great. Why little sleep? That's why little sleep? There is vehicle and good coffee. They're coming for you. See you in a bit. Over. paper and color remember but um, yes. just so you know where to put your stuff right now and where to get brainstorming with how you need to set up things please remember your numbers <laughs> You know, on a regular medical mission trip, you're giving spiritually of yourself and emotionally, but doing something like this, you're giving mentally, you're giving your head knowledge, you're giving emotionally, you're giving spiritually, you're giving physically, and it's literally like I feel like I'm giving all of myself this time around. So, a little different, a little different, a little bit more tiring, but I think ultimately more fulfilling, because at least I feel like I can contribute. <laughs> I don't always feel like that. So. We're in this amazing little village that had a lot of um, bad things happen with the flood and we're able to take care of the, the people here. It's a wonderful thing. They're basically out on the outskirts uh, of Erbil and we've been able to come in, see them. Um, it's kind of crazy and intense though because there is no access for these people for any kind of health care. Um, they're not particularly liked by the locals here because they're not from here. And so uh, if they go to the doctor's surgery or the hospital, no one's gonna see them. They might sit there for hours and then they'll be told, we can't see you go home. So being here today, seeing these people, this is the only medical care uh, that they're gonna receive. So super impactful, super important, um, and just so grateful that we're able to be here. 10 out of 10. I mean, you know, today, this chaotic pop-up clinic, like we're in the middle of like mud, trying to put this clinic together, and it just ran beautifully. Um, but at one point today, um, I just looked out, and I just saw like different members of the team um, just loving these kids individually, and I literally was just like, Jesus, you're so good. 
you are so good that you could take so many different people from all around the world and put them together for a mission for just over a week and work, like use the body, strengthen the body and how like not just, it isn't just one person, just literally a whole body of people working together um, and it was a strong, this group has been a strong body for the Lord. Yeah. Um, but because of you, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of people um, who both were felt loved and accepted when most people don't love and accept them, but also people who are going out of here healthier and it's going to actually affect the rest of their life. Yeah. It's been such a privilege as well serving alongside each and every one of you. Mm. Um, it's always interesting when you have a, a new group of people that are kind of forced together um, you, you question how well everyone is going to gel, how well everyone's going to get on. Mm. But I can honestly say that each and every one of you has, has become a family. And so it's been so much fun um, coming through the, the stress, through the, the busyness, through the craziness, through the medical emergencies, right. through the, uh, the calm or the relative calm of today. Um, it's just been so wonderful to see you guys get closer, to see you guys get better. Seeing you guys, like, Providing every hope and all the, all the energy and smiles and uh, happiness and all the kindness that you have in your heart for all those children, washing you, providing it with a selflessness and and all the goodness of that you have in your heart, it, it, it has been a pleasure. Like actually, I can't describe. I, I don't have words like to describe that good my the kindness and the beautifulness that you have provided it means a lot for me, like personally. Yeah, like, I see light in you all. I've seen the light of you, like, like the light of of God that's reflecting on you, that you are reflecting it to the children. This is what I would. I would love to do it full time. like to get, take care of people. So, I do what I can. So, God is good and He, he takes care of these people. Even though we can't do everything we, we would like to do. So, we'll continue to do what we can as, as best we can. So, sorry for the emotion, but there's a lot of stuff in my heart about this stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're loved and appreciated. Thank you oh, so thank much. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, apparently, just... Yeah! Oh,